Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, The Bills Bunker. I'm your guy, Jake, and the 2021 NFL Draft is quickly approaching us. It seems as if every single season, there's a big draft day trade that can change the landscape of the entire league. In this video, we'll be looking at the trade tree for Jared Goff. In my last trade tree video, we explored how the Patrick Mahomes draft day trade between Buffalo and Kansas City had a ripple effect on the entire league. In this video, we will take a look at how the Los Angeles Rams made a massive draft day trade to get up to spot number one to select Jared Goff. The Tennessee Titans sent the first 113th and 177th pick in the 2016 draft to Los Angeles in exchange for the 15th, 43rd, 45th, and 76th pick in 2016, along with the first and third round picks in 2017. We all know that the Los Angeles Rams selected Jared Goff first overall, but the Tennessee Titans decided to trade back up the board with the Cleveland Browns. As they sent the 15th and 76th overall picks they received from Los Angeles over to Cleveland in exchange for the 8th and 176th overall picks in 2016's draft. The Cleveland Browns ended up selecting wide receiver Corey Coleman, 15th overall. The Cleveland Browns ultimately ended up sending Coleman to Buffalo for a 7th round pick in 2020. And they ultimately flipped that 7th round pick to Green Bay in exchange for defensive tackle Justin McCray. With that 76th overall pick received from Tennessee, they selected offensive tackle Sean Coleman. Then they ended up trading him away for a 2019 seventh round pick from San Francisco. That seventh round pick that they received from San Francisco ended up being packaged along with Josh Gordon to go to the New England Patriots in exchange for the 170th pick in 2019. With this pick, the Browns selected kicker Austin Siebert. And this is where it turns into the Patriots show, as the New England Patriots just kept trading up and down the board consistently. The Patriots traded pick 134 and the 243rd overall pick that they received from the Cleveland Browns to the Los Angeles Rams in exchange for a 162nd pick and the 167th pick overall. They then proceeded to trade the 162nd pick from Los Angeles plus their 239th overall pick to Minnesota for pick 159. And with this pick, the Patriots selected defensive tackle Byron Cowart, who ended up having his first career sack against none other than Jared Goff. With the picks that they received from New England, the Minnesota Vikings selected linebacker Cameron Smith and wide receiver Dylan Mitchell. Now let's go all the way back to the Los Angeles Rams. Are you following? Make sure you're following this. The Los Angeles Rams traded pick 113 to Chicago, who ultimately ended up selecting Nick Kwiatkowski with this pick, in exchange for picks 117 and 206. And with those picks, the Los Angeles Rams selected Farrell Cooper and Mike Thomas, two wide receivers. This trade connected a lot of different trades. The Josh Gordon trade, the Corey Coleman trade, they all go back to Jared Goff's first overall selection back in 2016. And this trade tree is still alive, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's take a look at what the Tennessee Titans ended up with. I think it's pretty safe to say that the Tennessee Titans were the ultimate winner of this trade tree. As they drafted defensive tackle Austin Johnson, 43rd overall. Derrick Henry, 45th overall. That's right, they selected Derrick Henry. Wide receiver Corey Davis with the 2017 first round pick they received in this trade. And then tight end Jonu Smith in the third round. Tennessee Titans got a lot of building blocks and a lot of pieces that are still used in their offense today. The fact that they got Derrick Henry and Jonu Smith along with Corey Davis, that's a steal. Especially when you consider what the Los Angeles Rams got in return. We all know that the Los Angeles Rams selected Jared Goff first overall, but they also ended up with wide receiver Farrell Cooper, who they drafted 117th overall, wide receiver Mike Thomas selected 206th overall, and then it all linked back with the New England trade in which they received defensive tackle Greg Gaines, who was their 2019 134th overall pick, and safety Nick Scott, who was drafted in 2019 243rd overall. But as I said, this trade tree continued. 
as the Los Angeles Rams have recently sent Jared Goff, along with two first-round picks and a third-round pick, to the Detroit Lions in exchange for Matthew Stafford. It's hard to say who won this deal specifically, but the fact of the matter is the Los Angeles Rams lost in the grand scheme of things. They got a couple years from Jared Goff, went to the Super Bowl with him, but not because of him, and they had to give up two more first-round picks in order to get Matthew Stafford and a third round pick as well for a quarterback who's aging. I really like Matthew Stafford and I think he's been a victim of circumstances in Detroit. But the fact of the matter is the Los Angeles Rams had to package two firsts and a third with their former first overall pick that they paid a king's ransom for, for an aging Matthew Stafford. The Los Angeles Rams screwed this up royally. It's very interesting and I find it very fun to look back at big trades in NFL history and to see how much impact they've really had. It goes far beyond just a one-for-one -one deal because these draft picks are often flipped. I think it's very safe to say that the Tennessee Titans won this trade tree by a landslide. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Did the Rams somehow win? Did the Titans win? Or was it another team who made a minuscule move in between? Thank you for watching this video. I'm your guy, Jake. And until next time, this is the Bills Bunker.